We'll be doing a quick review and beam shot comparison with the Astrolux FTO2S. We'll be comparing beam shots with an Octagon KR1, MSR D1, Astrolux EC01, Astrolux FTO3, MSR D18, and maybe for fun the Octagon K1. Unlike the other lights in this comparison, this light's actually using four emitters instead of one. I opted for the SST40 5000K, which will produce 7000 lumens and 102,000 candela. The other option is the XHP50, which will produce around 11,000 lumens and 70,000 candela, so you get a lot more light, not as much throw. One of the reasons I opted for the SST40, I already have the MSR D18. This is about 14,000 lumens, 65,000 candela, so I figured 11,000 lumens, 70,000 candela would be too similar to what I already had. This light will produce more lumens than any of my throwers, but it'll throw farther than my D18 does. Like my other Astrolux lights here, it uses USB charging, runs off of the Enduro user interface, and it can take a 26650 battery cell and has adapters for 21700 and 18650. I will start out with the MSR D1 because it's also using an SST40 5000K emitter. Now the Astrolux FTO2S is also using the same emitter, but four of them. Alright, D1, FTO2S. The FTO2S also has a larger reflector. Alright, the Noctagon KR1 has 110,000 candela, around 900 lumens, so be a good demonstration as the FTO2S has similar throw, 102,000 candela, but significantly more light output at 7,000 lumens. The KR1 FTO2S. See, the FTO2S lights up a much larger area. Compare my Astrolux lights. The Astrolux EC01 should be around 3,500 lumens, maybe 20,000 candela, and then the FTO2S. A lot more throw and more light output. EC01, FTO2S. EC01 on the left, FTO2S. My other Astrolux, the FTO3, this should have around 130,000 candela and 4,500 lumens. So it should have more throw but less light output than the FTO2. So now we'll have the FTO2, S, FTO3. So on the left we got the FTO2S, then on the right the FTO, I'm sorry, on the left the FTO3, on the right the FTO2S. Brightest light, the MSR D18, 14,000 lumens, but 65,000 candela. So it'll have more light output, less throw. Now we'll switch to the FTO2S, 7,000 lumens, 102,000 candela. Now at the same time, D18 on the left, FTO2S on the right. D18, FTO2S. Just for fun, my farthest thrower, the Noctagon K1, the only 1,500 lumens, but 600,000 candela. Then the FTO2S, Noctagon K1. Very different lights.